becoming the face of the year in a local newspaper, this paparazzi magnet hung out as a punk with pink hair and a pierced nose. And although Elizabeth Hurley has made her name modeling clothes and peddling cosmetics, there's always been plenty of substance beneath those gravity-defying frocks. Even while she was dating fumbling heartthrob Hugh Grant, she was much more than the glamorous girlfriend. During their 13-year relationship, the couple set up and ran Simeon Films. Although they split as lovers in 2000, they continued the partnership in Simeon until 2006. Since becoming the main spokesmodel for perfume house Estee Lauder in 1995, with the launch of their best-selling fragrance Pleasures, Liz has been one of the hardest working models in the business. 13 years down the track, she's still under contract to Estee Lauder. I quite like to give up, but sadly I can't. I still have to earn my honest crust. So um, I work um, phenomenally hard still at the moment, building businesses and doing the business I have been lucky enough to be doing for the last 15 years, which is modeling and endorsements and acting when I can fit it in, which sadly isn't so often anymore since I've had my baby. But um, I, uh, business is, is a very integral part of my life. And it's not always glamorous. Starting my own organic farm business, which is in very, very early stages at the moment, but I have a 400 acre farm of my own in Gloucestershire. The prospect of being knee deep in organic farming makes her contract with Jordache jeans very handy. Well, I have too many pairs of jeans, that's for sure, but I keep trying to cull them. So I go through my boxes regularly and say, will I ever get into those again? Well, maybe. So then they go into the skinny box. But um, on the whole, it's, it, you know what, jeans are so much in fashion, they're so much part of a girl's life, that I think a lot of girls spend a lot of their clothes budgets on, you know, three or four pairs of jeans a year, I think. But that doesn't mean she's given up the frocks. Loyal to the label that helped her hit the headlines with the safety pin dress back in 1990, she still loves Versace, and Versace loves her right back. Although she still has eyes for the odd Valentino gown.